Hey, welcome back. So we only have the line charts left. I wanted to put them in the same video, but you know, uh, it was getting too long. So in, the, in this last video, I will show you how to make the line charts and how nice it looks. And then we will wrap up how to make, how to use Plotly in your Streamlit apps. So this is where we left off. And the last thing that we want to do is add the line charts. So as you remember, I created separate columns for the input and the pie chart, but I'm not going to do that because you know, for the line chart, you kind of need a little bit more space. So let's start uh, with the data that I want to use. So I want to use this taxi data that I already have. What I want to show in this line chart, maybe I should explain that to you first, is um, I want to see per region, so the location ID, at which hour, how many pickups are being done. So it's basically going to be the X axis is going to be the hour. The lines are going to, each line is going to represent one location ID and the Y axis is going to show me the amount of pickups that have been done in that hour on a certain region. So that's what we want to see. So at first I'm going to copy the taxi data that we have in a new data frame. So if I don't do this, what's going to happen is I'm going to do some changes to this data frame now. And if I don't copy it to a separate data frame, my Streamlit app is going to warn me saying that you uh, you have a cached uh, function that are you're using to get the data, but the result of this ca cached uh, function is being changed. So that's why I'm copying it. So I'm kind of like tricking it to think that it's actually no not the same data frame, but a separate data frame. So what I want to do to it is first, uh, I want to change my pickup date time value into an hour. So let me show you how it's done here. Yes, so this is the pickup date time and I want to change it to date time and I only want to get the hour information from it because right now it's just a string of like time and date and the hour and seconds and everything. I just want it to be uh, the hour. I just want to extract the hour from it. So this is how we do it. I don't want to go into details of how this is done. Uh, I'm also planning to make uh, videos on pandas that I'm going to talk about like a video where I talk about the same thing that I talk about on my pandas cheat sheet. Uh, this is one of the things that I discussed there. So keep an eye out for that video that's going to come up in the coming weeks. Uh, but yeah, if you already know how it works, basically I'm just extracting the value. I'll show you what it looks like in a second. Uh, maybe I'll also show you already to show you here. So I just need to say print line chart data and here. Just needs to rerun. Yeah, so we see pickup date time looks like this, but this is a string normally, and I extract the hour from it. So this is the 22nd hour, 22nd, 10th hour, 10th hour. So this is what it looks like, this uh, column. The next thing that I want to do is to create a cross tab from this. So I'll also show you what a cross tab looks like in a second. I don't need to print this anymore. Um, a cross tab is basically uh, you have two columns, right? One column is the pickup location. The second column is the hour. What I want to do is I want to count how many times uh, the specific combination happens and then put it in some sort of like a cross table, <laughs> basically. One axis, the Y axis is going to be the hour and the other axis or no pickup location, the other axis is going to be the hour and the corresponding value is going to give, tell me how many times this combination happened. So let me just show you, you'll probably be simpler to see. So this is what it looks like. So basically for every hour, in a specific area, how many pickups have happened? So, you know, on this 2262 uh, area in the middle of the night, only 14 pickups happen, but more, let's say, what is this? It's the 7 a.m. in the morning, 136 pickup pickups have happened. So I want to put this in a line chart and it's much easier when you have this nice cross table to show this in the line chart. So the next thing that I want to do is to create this line chart. And the nice thing about it is that with Plotly here, I basically just need to create the line chart and it will show me exactly what I want to see. Uh, 
yeah so this is nice again you know we have some updating customizing to do but when you here you can hover over the lines again and yeah you can see this one is like which location this is and at what time it's getting better bigger but you know this is basically to be expected in the middle of the night until like 5 a.m it just uh, we have less and less pickups, taxi pickups, and during the day it gets very high. Um, and one thing that's nice about Plotly is you can also filter what you want to see. So if I click this guy, for example, if I click these, it stops showing me all of these locations. You can see that it's like getting less and less, but right now I have a lot of locations, so it's kind of hard to see the difference. But I think this is the highest one, 236. You can see that if you if you're like okay i don't want to see that one anymore 236 i can click this off and then yeah it will not show it anymore so these are the things that you can also you know use these things to zoom in you can select the specific part of the graph and get closer to it and then zoom back out again you can use this option to like pan this mode around and everything so yeah apparently you can also download it as a png these are all built-in things that come from plotly um so that's why it's nice you know why it's kind of like a nice interactive graph software so um what i want to do here is again i don't really want to see the legend so i'm going to change that again i'm going to change the background i'm going to update the margins and maybe change the height and width a little bit so these are all the things that we talked about already and give it a nice background color and maybe change the font too to see it a little bit more clearly uh, but yeah these are all the things that you know we've seen before so let me do that and show you what it looks like at the end all right now the graph actually looks what i wanted to wanted it to look like so you know the things that i did are very familiar to you by now i didn't want to see the legend i specified the width and the height i specified the margins i changed the font a little bit and the background color uh the last thing that i want to show you is actually so you know here we're seeing the um, pickup hour as kind of like an integer but what if i wanted to see every single hour stated here maybe this will not be you know when it's hours it kind of makes sense to see it uh, like this as an integer uh, but what what if it wasn't an integer value so you wanted to see it categorically so one thing you can do i'll show it in a separate update uh, so you can use this one there is also a way to update the axes of your graph. So what you can say is I want to update the axes and I want the type for the type to be categorical. So then it will show you each category, each hour separately. Yeah, so like this, basically now I can see every single hour here and wh when, where in the graph they correspond to. Uh, so, you know, there are a lot of things that you can update. You can change these names, you can give it a title and everything. But as I said, based on what you want to do, the possibilities are nearly endless so you're going to have to go and search for what this for the specific thing that you want to achieve and it's very likely that you'll easily find it in the plotly's um documentation because they have a really good amount of do documentation all right so we've done what we set up to do we added some new plotly graphs we have some nice colors we learned how to uh, customize them a little bit you can easily go and go further and put on top of what i've showed you uh, the plotly documentation is really good but thanks for bearing with me for this long i actually wanted to make this one video but you know there's so many things to talk about so it just turned into three videos um but if you're thinking hey i don't actually have a project that i've done so far that i can show in a web app maybe go check out my course it's called hands-on data science complete your first portfolio project i will leave a link in the description and in that course we basically like that's what we do we just make a project we start from scratch without having anything we find the data set this is actually the same data set i use in the course of the taxi data set from new york city and we just build our project we explore the data set we clean it we prepare it we train a machine learning algorithm on top of it and yeah you, you will learn everything that you need to learn to become a uh, to update your skills and to become an independent practitioner of data science so if you want to get a data science job or if you just want to update your data skills for your current job to become a better employee and have basically relevant skills for today's world go and check out that course uh, i think that will be very helpful and uh, hopefully I'll be welcoming you in the course soon. So thanks again for watching. Don't forget to give the video a like if you liked it. And I'll also be happy if you subscribe. And I'll see you around.